step right to the garage and find the right trash bag. Because you know where it is. I'm not letting Jesse on the vlog for the rest of the vlog, so sorry if you like him. Oh, our yard is already getting flooded, you guys. But the water is rising. The water is definitely rising. Oh! So the tropical storm is here. I don't know if it's a hurricane still. I think it got to a cat one. Her name is Nicole. She's here. You can see her right behind me. I probably shouldn't be standing by the window. We have slight damage already, let me show you. That little bit of a screen right there, Jesse will have to fix that. So far that's all I see, but there's some pretty big gusts of winds that are coming through and the whole entire screen is like shaking. Under here is all completely soaked. We were trying to watch a movie out here last night and we just kept getting soaked, so we came in. And I left my like favorite slippers out there, but oh well. See the screen when we get those strong bursts of wind. Here, let me open the door so you guys can hear it. <laughs> All the pets are inside, safe and sound. There's Aspen, everybody's been asking about her for like a long time now. She doesn't come around very often, but when there is bad weather, she will be here. She will be here. We have a happy good morning baby. Hey, hey. hi guys. Say hi. <laughs> Jenny, why are you so serious on cameras? Why? Say cheese. Yeah. 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 update weather update we just had a huge gust of wind which prompted Rory to promptly retrieve her saurus because if anything bad is happening in life you need a saurus the neighbor's palm tree it's like blowing straight back you did not cover the TV oh, and we I just bought that TV I, I, hope it's okay. I think it it's a little wet but it's not bad all right here we go we're getting some action I don't know we have like everything out here. Everything is gonna be soaked and so gross. What were we thinking? Do currently, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, we do have a shelter in place order right now for the next few hours. So what that means is if you haven't found shelter yet, you literally have to shelter in place, like find a ditch, find something, it doesn't matter because there's gonna be really high winds and things blowing around, it's very dangerous. So we have to stay inside and we're all gonna go a little crazy. Just wait, you'll see. He needs a big garbage bag. I'm on the job. I'm on the job. I'm on. <gasps> Have you replaced Saurus? We'll get back to that later. Sure. Big garbage bag. Big garbage bag. I guess this is still considering sheltering place if I come outside in the garage, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, our yard is already getting flooded, you guys. <gasps> I bet the front yard is even worse. Task Tara, stay on task. Jesse needs a big bag to save our TV. Uh oh. We might be out of big bags. <laughs> this could be a disaster. Found one, hope this is good enough. All right, here we go. Is this good enough? No, I need the fifth, the four gallon one. I can't the find them. Box. Where are they? I don't know. I said I would play source. He was just still sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. But they're right here. <laughs> well, last night the girls used their hurricane entertainment supplies. And we made some beautiful. How can I step right into the garage and find the right trash bag? Because you know where it is. It was literally right where I told you it was. That's the one I, I made, grabbed from. I made wafer. From, from, no, you didn't. Wafer Look. treats, and I think. Look at the size difference. Everybody, comment below. Hashtag Jesse, stop being rude to Tara. I'm trying to show off her. Don't lie. Nobody's listening to you. And Ada made. Uh, Everyone already saw that in the last. Crumbly video. biscuits. Bye. I'm not letting Jesse on the vlog for the rest of the vlog, so sorry if you like him, but he's not gonna be on it today. What we have here is a true hurricane breakfast. We got eggs, toast. No, look. Watch. Oh, <laughs> an egg sandwich? Yep. An egg sandwich. And some Your extra. Pretty good, a little dry. A little on the dry side. That's why you gotta add the mayo and the butter. So far, all the damage I can see is just that screen. Um, a lot of yard waste again. Oh my gosh, we had so much last time. I don't want to have to do that again. But I guess that's what you get for living in Florida. Um, we were told to expect power outages, but we have not lost power yet. And hey, okay. and also, what was the other thing? Um, shoot, I lost my train of thought. We haven't lost power. I remember. Sorry. But we are advised to still stay indoors. So it's a little cold. We have to stay inside. I'm gonna heat us up. Some leftover gumbo that I made. And see the winds like literally just started picking up. So 
We gotta be careful. I'm not gonna go outside right now. We're gonna wait to assess all the damage. If you eat a lot of rice like we do, you need this. It holds like 26 pounds of rice. I got it on Amazon and it measures up to like three cups at a time. Super nice. We also have all of this microwave, like we eat a lot of rice. <laughs> Don't judge us. So I have rice with gumbo and I'm probably gonna just make the full three cups because like I said, there's a lot of us here. Don't eat a lot of it. Wash your rice, kids. And whoever else is watching. I call everybody kids. Um, more than once, too, okay? Do it more than once, like three times at least. This is my rice pot. Nothing gets cooked in here except for rice and like potatoes on occasion. I love my rice pot. And I'm old school, I do it on the stove. So if you would like a cooking with Tara tutorial right now on how to cook the most perfect, fluffiest, softest rice, and I'll show you the final result, hit your thumbs up, might as well. We're in the middle of a hurricane, we can't leave the house. So let's cook the most perfect rice together. Next tip, the best rice, it matters. The grain of the rice, you get medium grain. I get the Goya brand. I don't know if the brand really matters. I like that brand, but if you can find medium grain, do it. If not, it's okay. Just get whatever you can find, like whatever shortest grain you can find, but medium is the best. I picked out all the little crusty pieces and now we're gonna test it. I do not use a measuring cup. I go to this line on my finger. So obviously you can see we need more water. So we're gonna put more. That's probably getting close, pretty close. A little more splash, and we're there. We're a little past the line. Like my rice slightly overcooked, so you go a little past the line, it's not gonna be mushy, promise. Always salt, 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 no matter what. If you're unsure about how much salt to put, taste your water. It should taste like the ocean, you're good. Bay leaf is optional, depends on what I'm using my rice for. We're using it for gumbo today, so I'm gonna put the bay leaf, because I like it in there for that on the stove. But well, once this starts boiling, I let it boil for a good minute to get the starches going and then we're gonna turn it to low until it's done. I don't have an exact time because I don't always do like the same amount of rice, so I just kind of watch it and when it looks done, it's done like when it's kind of dried out. Yeah, you'll see. We do have an official weather report update coming at you right now. I just became a meteorologist today. So I'm definitely officially official to give this update. But I just wanted to say it has warmed up right as I start making my gumbo. Just my luck. Here's the rice. Look at how fluffy and soft. It's so yummy. So we'll give you guys a hurricane checkup. But first, we got ran new bottles because mom was sick of cleaning the Dr. Brown ones. So we're gonna see if she takes it. They're the Avent, uh, the Phillips Avent ones. So they're pretty similar. We just don't have to clean the middle piece anymore. You like it, baby girl? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Here, you gotta put it, you can't get it up. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. All right, I think uh, we like, do we like it? Or she's just not ready for a bottle right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Ren? What's your review? Oh, you like it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I noticed something. I was literally just walking outside to like check the damage on the outside. And I was like, hey dad, um, did you, you did you cover the TV with something? He was like, oh yeah, like a trash bag or something. I look in the it's pool. It's floating in the pool. It's floating in the pool, so there was literally no point. It came off the TV. Literally, this hurricane was last than the worse than the last one for us. And we had no prep. And I didn't even prep at all, because I was like, ah, it's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be nothing. And it was all it was was a one, but it was worse for us this time. Literally, the yard looks like poop. Yeah, again. I already, ah, I'm so sick of hurricane. We have still had our running water. We're good there. We've had power pretty much the whole entire time. The dogs have gotten frustrated with each other and have gotten in a fight. Memphis and Diesel, they hardly ever fight. They decided to fight. Uh, what else? The internet's working, so of course Tara is shopping. And, uh, oh, what? 
fine. Did we buy that at Target? I've already asked her to please stop and she won't. And um, Tara said we were gonna be cuddling up by the fire and enjoying her hot cocoa, whatever it is. I don't know if you guys remember from last video. It's this and it's still unopened and it's probably gonna sit here for three years and get stale. Are you gonna drink your hot chocolate, baby? I want hot chocolates by the fire tonight. I want them. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but the weather has gotten warm. Oh, so now you can't have hot chocolate. The weather is not warm. The weather is definitely not warm. It's cold and windy. Ren and I are gonna prove it right now. Okay, it's not cold. It's warm and windy. with News Channel 5 here in Florida. Sunny Florida, but not so sunny today because we're dealing with one of the world's most dangerous hurricanes ever, Hurricane Nicole. Jesse's on site right now. Let's go see what he's got to say about this hurricane. Jesse here, and Jesse, let me tell you what, it is looking bad here for Floridians. The wind is unbelievable. It has been pushing me back all day. We have debris everywhere. As you can see, we have trampolines. Whoa! Just flipped over right now. And the water, the amount of water, I think the showers have passed, but the water is rising. The water is definitely rising. Oh, I'm getting showered again. All right, Jesse, we're gonna keep an eye on the storm out here. We're gonna keep an eye on the storm out here, but it's looking pretty wild. Wow, Jesse, that storm does look wild out there, and all of us here in the north are really hoping you are doing fine in the south. All right, so we have had a pretty successful day so far. We've pretty much made it out of the hurricane in pretty good shape. Um, I didn't think it was all that bad, but I've been getting a lot of alerts on my phone, and I haven't really been keeping up with the local news. And I had a couple of friends reach out to me and text me, and I thought they were joking about things being bad, but I guess it's pretty bad in certain areas. Our thoughts and prayers go out to anybody dealing with any problems with the hurricane, like flooding can be especially bad. We're just keeping in touch with our friends, letting them know if they need any help from us. We're there to help, we got supplies. I think the main thing that really made this storm terrible was the fact that we just had a hurricane and the water. The water is just the really bad part. And I think that's probably, I don't know, the worst thing about every hurricane. You know, in Florida, we're surrounded by water, right, Rani? She just got out of the hot tub. We were just chilling there. So yeah, I'm gonna reach out to some of my friends, make sure they're doing okay. And yeah, what do you think, babe? What do I think? What do you think? I think we lucked out once again, and I'm thankful for that. Yeah, I think so too. I think Rory wants some attention. Rory too. wants to say something. What you want to say, girl? Oh. What you, oh, now that the camera's on you, now you run away. Oh. Uh huh. Renny, tell him good night. Tell him good night. Say good night, guys. Say love you. Say love you. Blow him a kiss. Blow him a kiss. Look at her. Go <laughs> mwah. Mwah. Love you. Bye bye, guys. Say good night. Are you gonna be a vlogger? No. Yeah, she no. is. Okay, so we got some big news, guys. Some big news coming in. First of all, I don't know if I can tell you both big news is, but I can tell you at least one. My older sister is getting married. She's almost 40, and she's getting married, finally. It's a pretty big deal. Okay, the other news is my mom finally cut her hair. I'm gonna let you guys in on it. I'm gonna show you the video. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. She's not cut her hair in like 15 years. So I'm hoping that she resends me the video because it was on Snap and I couldn't save it. What we have here is a very rare sighting of Tara cleaning. That is, this is not rare. No, this is a rare let's, sighting, let's guys. Let's get rid of the let's jokes. Just, let's just okay. all let them know, yeah. baby, who does the cleaning around yeah. the house. Who does the cleaning? Not you. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we all do it, okay? <laughs> no, so actually, fun fact about Tara, she is a clean freak. So if the house is not perfectly clean, okay, if it's not spick and span, perfectly clean, 
then basically she's gonna be in a bad mood that day. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is I usually go on TikTok for about 10 minutes and then Tara comes in and she says, why isn't the house clean? And so I start cleaning then. Wait, wait, is this one of those pranks where you're like pranking your daily routine for like to win money and like I'm supposed to come over and be like, what? That does not sound like you at all. Cause that's what it sounds like you're doing. Have you seen those on TikTok? No, that's what I do. I go on TikTok and then you come for out and you For 10 minutes? Go. All right, everybody. I just want to give you a big thank you for watching today's video. We are gonna um, end the video here. Enzo wants to say goodnight to you guys. Benny, you want to say goodnight? You want to tell him goodbye? You guys, Benny's getting old. Look at him. He can hardly walk anymore. For just two cents a day, you can help this dog walk again. Remember to do one thing. Eat your pickles, kids. Bye. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Channel 5. Today, we're going to be going outside and, uh, what, what, what should I say? Okay, all right. This is, okay. But you can't be Jesse. No, I am Jesse talking to Jesse. Okay. Stuck in the middle.